Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a refit on this Voyager 14. There she is, this is my first sailboat I learned how to sail on. She's been sitting now for three or four years, so needs a little work and I'm gonna get her back on the water. In just one second before this video gets going too far, for all you new watchers, go ahead, jump down, check out my other videos. I got tons of sailing videos, exploration, the big project, my Cal 34, my big sailboat that I rebuilt from the ground up. Go ahead, jump over there, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. So first project is gonna be our rudder. This boat has always lacked rudder authority. Really kind of sucked in that department. This rudder is totally a total loss. So we are going to fit this boat with a Hobie Cat 16 rudder. I'd lay it around. So the only thing I'll have to do is move these mounts up about two inches. This thing will click right on there. I won't have to change anything. And it's gonna be totally sweet because it will flip up, lock up, a lot more rudder authority, way more hydrodynamic. All right, so I got the uh, backing nuts taken off of this. This bracket comes out. All right, so we had a little bit of a change of plans. Instead of moving this up here, we actually moved it down because I didn't want to because I'd be losing like a big chunk of my rudder if I did that and that would defeat the whole point of doing this project so I moved it down I gotta modify it so the tailor handle will come up from here and then straight over so since I did it this way I can't use this locking mechanism anymore which isn't a big deal what I'll do is uh, drill a hole through so I can put a pin that will lock the rudder in the down position and then I'll pull it up, drill through that same hole, making another hole in the actual rudder itself. Then you can put the pin in and lock it up as well. All right, well, it's the next day. I got the rudder installed. Still got to build the tiller. All right, tiller handle is coming in to action. We got this flared end of the PVC that slips right over this, nice and snug. We'll cut this about here, heat it up with a heat gun, bend it over. That's the plan. And then, as you can see, yeah, it should work perfectly. All right. All right, so we're gonna let it cool like this and we're gonna move it down here so we start to get more consistent arch instead of just like kink in it. So I ran into a little bit of a problem. I noticed that when the tiller was straight, the actual rudder was you know turned a couple degrees that's because of this arch how this thing is made so i'm going to do is take my uh grinder and kind of flatten this out and help straighten that tiller out all right so next step we're gonna mix up a batch of epoxy go ahead and get this piece of pvc epoxied on and we're gonna fill these old holes and some stuff over at it all right, we added some uh, thickener. We also spilled some on the ground, so that's always cool. So we're gonna wait for this to start kicking off a little bit, just let it get a little more thick. And we're gonna go for it. All righty, here we go. Before this kicks off too much, we're gonna add some to the inside. Really want a good amount in there. Because as you know, tillers get kicked around, reefed on. All right. Ben be nimble. Then be quick, bend epoxy up the sailboat stick. Mostly on there. Okay. Line it up right. We may only be getting one shot at this. I should really take this rudder off and turn it upside down. Oh, we got drips. We got drips. It's a stupid idea. Idiot. Oh my god. Did you just see that? <laughs> Got it. We're gonna fill these two holes with leftover. Can't really do it with the camera, so I'm gonna have to put it down, but you get the idea. Alright, so it's been 24 hours. We gave Poxy some time to cure. Just need to sand it up a little bit. Alright, it's time to clean up this uh, messy resin. Alright, 
not bad. We got a super solid bond. I think we could call that piece done. All right, well, I went and picked up some heavy cutting compound. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side of the boat and uh, get ready for some polish. All right, well, I've reverted to wet sanding. The cutting compound just can't cut it. You get it? Anyhow, I'm uh, fixing my mistakes I made years ago, in my early days of boat maintenance. All this gel cut I screwed up by sanding it with too high of a grip. Idiot. So anyhow, knock it down. Very painstakingly slow, but since I got it down to here, the cutting compound should be able to take it off even smoother. And then we'll step it up. All right, we started with 250 wet sanding. Now we jumped to 400 wet sanding, and then we're gonna jump up to 600. And then we're gonna hit it with the cut compound. All right, wet sanding is complete. I am done. <laughs> I'm done wet sanding, that's a lot of work. All right, so I'm gonna wash the boat off, get all that gel coat off of it, and then we'll go to buffing. Hey, that was part one. Hope everyone liked it. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next part. It'll be coming out within five, six days. Hope to see you all there.